Hi, I'm Lily. Today, I'm going to read you a story, The Hard Shell Lobster, reading at level 3C, The Hard Shell Lobster. Okay, let's read it. A lobster has feelings for failing, eyes and stalks, petals when swimming, legs for walks, a tail that steers, a shell from wearing. A claw for crunching, a claw for tearing. Lobsters have many parts, so many parts sticking out of their bodies that you think they would get all tangled up, but they don't. Every part does a job that helps keep these hard-shelled creatures alive. Tiny fingered paddles called swimmers, swimmers cover a lobster's stomach and help it swim. But when a lobster wants to go somewhere in a hurry, it uses its fan-shaped tail with just one flip. Its tail moves the lobster so far and so fast that it seems as if a blower is sweeping along. But look at the direction the lobster is going. Backwards? No, lobsters don't bother with the things they think as we would. Their eyes are attached to stalks that move, so that so they can see in almost every direction. Lobsters swim forward and sideways too, but not as fast as backward. During the day, they hardly move at all. Instead, they stay hidden under a tangle of seaweed or dig burrows in the dark, muddy ocean bottom. In the ocean bottom. Ah, I think during the day, they sleep or hidden, and at the night, they would come out and have a hunt and have and have and do like hunting or just swimming around like this. Night is their hunting time when they poke into rocky corners of the seafloor looking for shellfish, snails, sea urchins, and starfish, alive or dead. Their fillers cord antennas help them find food and warn them of dangerous enemies, big fish, and seals are nearby. Lobsters have lots of legs. Four of their eight walking legs have tiny pink pincer like claws. In front of the walking legs, a lobster weaves two great claws. One of these claws is very heavy enough to dig through a gravel and sand for buried shellfish and strong enough to crush the shells. The others have sharp saw like teeth for grabbing and cutting food. Without the hard, tough shell to cover them, lobsters wouldn't be safe from their enemies very long. And if they weren't joints, things diving their shells into sections, lobsters couldn't move at all. But while their bodies now, their shells stay the same size. So whenever a grow, growing lobster becomes too tight in its shell, it just climbs right out of it. This happens many times during the first of, of a lobster's life and once a year afterward. It is always a time for danger for a lobster. Always. It's always a time of danger for a lobster. It takes a few weeks for a new shell to harden, and during this time, a lobster stays hidden in dark, rough keyholes or in thick seaweed that grows on the, on the ocean bottom. Lobsters' babies hatch from eggs laid in deep water. They are born without they are born without swimmers, so they paddle with their hairy little legs, snapping up any food they can find floating on top of the water. After a few weeks, they sink to the bottom of the sea and live down there for the rest of their lives. Oh, it's done. Today, I read the story, The Hard-Shelled Lobster. Lobster, lobster has 
the hard shell, so they wouldn't be attacked easily. Okay, bye. Have a good weekend.